See? Why didn't that charge up there where I was pointing? Maybe it can't be touching an enemy or... Now it charged, yeah, so I definitely felt like I hit the... Nice, I got a rune shattering, but... So that's the other thing. With those runes of shattering, I want to make sure I'm picking up loot that has good attributes, like this one. That seems like a good one to shatter right there, so crit. Okay, pretty smooth flow I got going, whether inside or out of bear form here. Oh yes, gather round my children, gather round! Once again, not a charge. Hmm. A haste shrine. Okay. Help me clear this room out a bit. Ooh. Roasting this guy. Another level. Get to level 20. Get that werebear mastery. What are those. Oh, my. That's the first time my wolves have ever died. That's what those green dots were. You have to stand near it to revive it, looks like. Come on, charge when I press charge. I want him to like, really, like, charge forward. There must be something I'm missing. Maybe I'm not playing it right yet. Charge. A rampage. Doesn't feel like he's charging towards something. There he goes. But that's so few and... F oh my god! Is that a channeling skill? Was I just holding that down? Oh my god, that's wild. Amazing! Okay, that feels totally different. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's a game changer. This is it, right? This is why it's a total noob playing Last Epoch for the first time. Figuring this out as we go. Ooh. Got ourselves a unique helmet here, boys. Hmm. About cold skills. Cold resistance. Not sure. If I'm really going to work it in. Oh, and it uses like my fury. Look at that. Oh, like it doesn't stop. That is incredible. Wow, that is. You just hold it down, hold down the button, and rampage the shit of the screen. It's getting pretty intense in there. Yeah, Critic. The Lost Epoch. That's right. It's technically called the Last Epoch. But I am pretty lost. That's a good one. I might start using that in <laughs> the titles to these. But uh, the build is coming online. Starting to get Greetings. into like a druid well, well. here. Playing online as well because they got the server's issues fixed up. So is A, remember to take my damn armor out of the forge and put it back on whenever I'm doing this. Crafting. Okay. On the quest we go. Let's keep blasting a bit. Try to get to this level 20. Entering the runes of Welrin. Now look at this rampage. Just straight ahead. Oh, I love that. Love that. Ooh, my, my wolves are out again. Wow. This is the first point of the game where the wolves have started to go. Wow, this was intense. Gotta start bringing the A game or I gotta start getting more powerful here. Wow, what is it that's just totally annihilating me? It must be all these... 
things. Javelin from Zealous Adherent. Okay, so there's only one button to click here. Respawn. And it looks like it just takes you to the closest waypoint. And let's see if this actually casts upheaval now. Or if I need upheaval on my skill bar. Oh, I do not. It actually casts it. Okay, I notice a lot of those. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these ads here. See, it's going much better when I kill the ads. Okay, lesson learned. Okay, and the cool thing that I read about today in a tooltip was that as you level up, you start with more points when you get one of these new skills unlocked up here, so at level 35 and 50. Um, and that just happened to me for the first time, so I got four unspent points here, which is great. You don't have to just pick away with one like you were doing earlier. Like, this looks like it's going to mesh with my build pretty well. Your Fury Leap tree now applies to Maul. So, th what? This Fury Leap tree will give that power to my Maul ability when I'm in bear form. I mean, that just sounds like a perfect companion here. So, this is, I guess, what I want to rush to, which I might be able to do right now. So you got to go regain health and rage on kill. Okay, that's really going to help. Healing with everything I kill in bear form. Or when you hit a rare or boss enemy. Wow. Great. Your hits have a chance to cause enemies to bleed. And that's doubled from all good. So I'm going to get some dots on folks. And it's and my next skill point there is gonna get me skull crusher. Wow. Okay, so that was just a lot of power there. At yeah, I have been following the Leafs, man. Crazy. Not expecting them to go five and zero oh with Riley out. Now, mind you, I've been gaming a bit and haven't been, like, watching all the games, but, um, the wifey is really into them and, uh, gives me the updates on all the social media goings-ons and the results of the game, you know, check out highlights and stuff, and chat with her about it, so, yeah, pretty crazy run they're on. Man alive. Gotta figure out how to get more runes in this game. More runes for crafting. And Matthews, just what a beast. What a beast. So amazing to have a guy like that in Toronto, finally. Legit, possibly the best goal scorer in the, the league. Might not even be arguable. The Leafs Epoch. Maybe that'll be the niche. Leafs Epoch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Avoid Centipede? That doesn't sound good. Love to see 70. That'd be wild. I mean, he's definitely liable for a few more hat tricks. Good. Entering cultist camp. Quick loading screen. Ooh. Void amalgamation. Ooh. Sucked me in and electrocuted me. Stay out of that.
Okay, Void Amalgamation, you're going down. Bart Baker, don't worry about it, man. Get on the hype train. It's all good. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. I'm just a total noob myself, man, getting on the hype train. Got a level 20 Primalist Druid here. Just making my way through the campaign. Enjoying what I'm seeing here, especially these quick loading screens after a couple updates today. So, get on the hype train. Find the Temple of Atera. All right, I'll find it. Ooh. Ooh, we got a little unique belt action there on the ground. I'll try to just get rid of these pests so I can enjoy looking at that belt in peace. Feeling the power of werebear form now. Smashing things and rampaging across the whole screen. Feels good. Bart Baker coming in hot, loving it. Belt, belt. Whoa. 118% increased chance to find potions. Gain haste for three seconds on potion use. And 42% increased dodge rating. And that's versus... I don't know. Whatever quality of loot or equipment that that blue thing is might be more than unique. Um, that spawns these two volatile zombies on potion use and gives my wolves more damage, more cooldown on everything, and more minion out. It's a tough call. I'm going to try this one, though, just for a bit. Make sure I don't forget that that one is yes last epoch had a challenging few days start but the gaming studio 11th hour games i think really came through with um some hard work and most importantly some communication for the player base you're never going to launch a live service product like that and not have issues all of a sudden when you're slammed with 150,000 people logging in and transitioning zones for the first time, but uh, they seem to, in the last two days, pull it together. This is very playable right now, so if anyone was hesitant about hopping in, get the latest update from this fr today, Friday, and uh, enjoy yourself online. Not gonna lie, it was nice to have that offline version though, to be able to play. I mean, uh, that was a perfectly good learning experience for me. Do I still have one unspent? Oh, Werebear. Oh, here we go, Skull Crusher, yes! So somehow my Fury Leap spell tree is gonna be giving me the power of that. And now Maelstrom is cast when I use War Cry. Wow, two huge upgrades there. So this applies to my Maul? Holy shoot, and Maul is going to cast Upheaval? I don't believe it. Let's see a shrine. And it's a prison. Oh yeah, a prison. That means we got an Exile Mage in there. We might drop some epic loot. Did I open it already? And is he out there trying to actively kill me? No, I have. I want to clear this area first a bit because. Oh, maybe he is. Him. There he is. Okay, it's a tough fight though. No joke. It take a while. I don't like these pillars. I think I want to try to, like, move them up to here. Better view. Oh, no. You're going down now, mage. Mage boy. 
Come on, drop something good, baby. Drop something good. Oh, it was. It was another one of these experimental. Let's try them out. Change the vibe in here just a little bit. That's what I'm feeling right now, you know? Let's sit back a bit. <clears throat> Get comfortable. Pop my bubbly. Because if you know, you know. Kinds of crafting materials. What's this? An idol. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. All your rage, all your rage, all your rage. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm getting through there. Send me back to town to Oh my gosh, this looks cool. Now there's a shrine over there though. <sighs> okay, you know what? I think that's not bait. I think that's gonna be a worthwhile shrine. Right in the middle of a big objective. I think it's going to be a prison. It is. It is. Oh, here we go. Maybe some experimental gear. Dropping from this. Mage. If I can kill it. It's not a guarantee. Get rid of some of these ads. Now, take care of this exiled mage.
lucky to keep track of this thing. Rating 70 endurance threshold if you have not been hit recently. This experimental cannot exist as a shard. Plus 9 mana. That would be replacing unique gloves that have a 3% of elemental damage leached as health, 38% increased leech rate, and 13% elemental resistance. Oh no, it does appear that I. I've picked that up. I gotta get back there. Okay. Just, you know what? I'm exploring the whole area. I'm going on a tour. This epoch. This era. Just wanna enjoy all the scenery and the intricacies of the map. I'm not completely lost epoch. Six making gains, making gains. All right, let's see here. Ooh, that was cool how that bridge approached. up in that
big hit there to finish him off. The two shards are in After my Eon's possession. Alone. Three. Now the forge. What are we gonna do here? Can you forge these? Well, you can. Hmm. Okay, intelligence, I don't really want that. The cooldown and the health, I do. So, adds a random tier one affixes to all empty affix slots, which there are not. Rune of Refinement rerolls the values of all affixes on an item within their tiers. I want to replace intelligence. Modifies the outcome of a craft when upgrading an affix. Okay, so there we go. I want to use that glyph. And one of the... Yeah, one of the... Rune of Refinement. And upgrade... Oh yeah, upgrade intelligence. It's gonna re should re-roll intelligence while it upgrades that. Movement speed, okay. Good. Much rather movement speed. 11% of it. Okay, right? No, no, wrong rune, wrong rune. There we go. And... Sure, I'll use a Glyph of Hope. So I got health, and look, I can upgrade strength. That's for damn sure. You're the hope. Get some more health. Get some more strength. Upgrades, more health. Okay, level 33 now. Mana regen. I have an upgrade for that. Wow, okay. It's powerful stuff here now. Crafting is coming together. Let's go finish this quest and call it a night here. I believe we centuries before they were, we believe the epoch seek out the ready. outcast queen, leader of the living Going rebels, to the imperial era. The... Okay. This is where I call it. And it's really coming together now. You start to feel it. So, hey, we'll be back for another one sometime soon. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you. All right.